All right, everyone, Donald Trump has proposed a massive military parade in Washington, D.C. The legacy media is outraged. They're at least a hundred times more mad than they were when a W invaded Iraq on false pretenses. They're considerably more mad than when Pentagon reports came out saying, oh yeah, most of the people killed by Obama's drones are civilians. It's like 75% civilian casualties. This is an acceptable number according to the U.S. military. Th those were nothing burgers. You don't have to worry. You know, people die all the time, so it's okay to see like little orphans get ripped apart in their mother's arms by shrapnel. That's okay. It's okay to, to completely lay waste to a country and then complain that people there have taken up arms in order to attack you. And they're then, then because they become refugees, they start infiltrating your allies and blowing civilians up there. That's all okay. No, no outrage, no. Mild annoyance, maybe, but you know, it's par for the course. Proxy wars are, are an okay thing, according to the media. They're not gonna call it what it is, which is basically treason, because it endangers our entire nation. No, they're worried about a military parade. Oh, it's gonna, it's, uh, Trump is trying to be a dictator by staging a military parade. Okay, that makes a whole lot of sense. So, a peaceful use of U.S. firepower which is marching it down the street with some trumpets and drums and putting on a show, maybe getting a morale boost, and it'll be cool, and we can sort of show off, you know, how good our, our dudes can march. That's a terrible thing. Uh, but putting them overseas to get shot at, that's okay. Because, you know, we've been doing that. I don't hear a lot of said about it. I don't really hear any outrage. I think the last time... There was this much outrage over anything of a military matter was, you know, maybe, uh, you know, 2006, 2007. Oh, yeah, we just lost like 100 troops in a, you know, a, a base attack or something. You haven't heard much about that sort of stuff in, oh, I don't know, about a decade. All of a sudden, Donald Trump is president. Now military matters are more sensitive. When Obama, if Obama had proposed a military parade, the legacy media would have cheered. They would have applauded. They would have said, oh, what a nice idea. And by the way, this proves that he loves the troops more than anybody else. He can't possibly be like, you know, out of his fucking mind. You know, the, the fact that he, he uses drones to go and massacre people, that's okay now because he's, look at how cute he is holding a parade. That's what they would have done. If W had said, let's hold a military parade, they would have said, oh yeah, we need this at this time. You know, in this, we need to show American solidarity and togetherness. We need to show our enemies that we can march down our own streets without fear and, and here's our troops and look at how buff they are and they'll kick your ass. They would have said good things about it. Trump does it all of a sudden, it's dictatorial, <laughs> it's tyrannical in nature. Now, can we be serious here? This is gonna cost so much less than what our military is usually used for, which is killing people. This is a peaceful use of the military. Uh, you can argue over whether it has any real wider meaning, but what's the price? It's not exactly without precedent to have military parades in Washington, D.C. People then immediately start comparing him to Putin and saying, well, he's, he's trying to be more like a, a dictator from the Eastern Bloc. He's trying to act more like D.C. is Moscow. Considering all the slime and cutthroatery in D.C. that we've seen lately, I think it's already quite a bit like the Kremlin. In fact, I think in many ways it might arguably be worse. Trump marching some U.S. soldiers down the street in a show of force is not tyrannical in nature. Actually, it'll be pretty cool. You can live stream it, televise it. You now, the legacy media, probably the reason that they don't want this to happen, because they know it'll cost a tenth of what it costs to operate one of those fucking aircraft carriers that they would, they would love to see him haul off and fire a nuclear missile. They'd love that because it'd be good clickbait. Uh, the reason why they're upset about this is if Trump is standing there on a podium watching the troops walk by, it's hard to criticize him because it'll sound like they're criticizing the troops. So for at least that day, they're going to have to like back off and, and give him some breathing room. They don't want to have to do that because it's not clickbaity enough. U.S. military parade, the only thing they'd have to complain about is, oh, how much it costs and be easy pickings because then people like me could point out, hey, yeah, okay, so it's whatever fraction of this aircraft carrier's weekly cost. It's whatever fraction of this single missile that we fired at, a, at the Taliban yesterday. Be, uh, be moronic. It'll be really funny. But yeah, I wish they had this much outrage when there were actually things that were going wrong. I wish that they had this much outrage when a bunch of kids got killed. I wish they had this much outrage when, you know, some other country that they want to accept millions of people from is totally destabilized. I wish that they had this much outrage when someone gets massacred here by someone who's not even in the country legally. 
I wish they had this much outrage over a million other things like Uranium One Yawn, who cares about that? Yeah, someone sold a bunch of the US uranium stockpile to the Russians and then got millions of dollars for it. Cough, cough, Clinton. That doesn't matter, you know, that's probably, it's probably not even true. You know, fuck the FBI informant in that case. The, this FBI informant is wrong, biased, and stupid, but the FBI is perfect, and if you criticize them, you hate the FBI. You can't criticize an FBI agent, but you can criticize this, uh, this FBI informant in this other case. That makes a lot of sense. FBI is sacrosanct. They never make a mistake, but they trust an informant who is basically mentally deranged. Okay, a lot of sense that makes the legacy media. This is sort of bullshit they pull. So I'm looking at this story, uh, and I'm looking at the disproportionate outrage, and I'm thinking of all the other things that they could actually be angry over. And I'm putting this down really, really low, like on the lowest tenth of things they should actually be concerned about. Okay, if you want to make an aside about, well, you know, do, do we really need to incur the cost of staging such a thing? What about security concerns? You know, Trump's, it would be a big event, you know, maybe a terrorist attack occurs because you get so many troops and politicians and everyone else in one place. You know, you have to provide a huge amount of multi-layered security. I mean, more than just the normal snipers on top of the White House that day. Okay, go ahead and, and, you know, air that grievance, but to act like it's the end of the world and the U.S. president has become a dictator because he suggests maybe, hey, I want to see the troops in review marching down Pennsylvania Ave., that's just so dumb. It's so wrong. Are you indicating that virtually every pre-90s president was like a tyrannical dictator? That doesn't make any sense. What about the troops that march around on a, a local and state level all the time? You know, you have parades. I can remember as a kid, uh, they would have like, you know, veterans and stuff would march in the parades and they'd fire their guns and stuff, you know, it was quite loud. Uh, and and uh, it was all good. You know, nobody ever said, well, this is a staged invasion because these uh, people are marching down the street with firearms. Ooh, scary. You know, maybe that's the other part. Maybe it's just they're so anti-firearm that they're terrified of the idea that that uh, some kid in the crowd will see the, the soldiers with their, you know, nice shiny guns and spotless uniforms and think that it is anything other than horrible. You know, it's horrible unless it's Obama deploying them to go kill, you know, civilians using drones. But if you actually have, like, soldiers they hate, the lamestream hates the troops, or so it seems, in the most literal fashion. They hate them so much that they want to try to force World War III into happening so they can kill them all. Uh, they want another Cold War so that our troops can be endangered in more proxy conflicts. I think we should do the opposite. We need more military marches and far more guns and civilian hands and far less of the proxy warmongering. Be cheaper, make us more secure, uh, make the entire world a safer, better place to live in. That's exactly what they don't want. They don't want the world to be a safe place. They want it to be fucked up so that they can make their clickbait reports and then use it to uh, uh, ideologically attack any politician who scoops them on Twitter. It's essentially what it boils down to. So yeah, uh, hold the military parade and then hold more military parades. It's obvious it antagonizes these people. A peaceful use of US troops, oh my God, it's the worst thing, the sky is falling. Oh, invading other countries, that's okay. You know, we need to do that, we need to fight. It, it was funny how the lamestream media, as soon as Obama took office, the sort of actions that, that Bush would take, which were dumb, and they would call them dumb, all of a sudden were, were great. It was a great idea all of a sudden to go into foreign uh, theaters and you know troop surges and drone strikes and dropping missiles and bombs everywhere. Th those were noble endeavors under Obama. As long as he didn't come out on TV wearing a cowboy hat and talking about how, how great his penis gun was, uh, as long as he didn't do that, they would uh, say, well, yeah, Mr. Obama, of course we agree with you. It is good to kill people overseas. No, and then people will say, if you point out how dumb that is, they'll say that you're disrespecting the troops. I think it's more disrespectful to send them over to get shot at without damn good reason, but that's just my feeling on this subject. Nobody questions their bravery, but it's like, uh, wouldn't you rather that, that you know mother's son not get his legs blown off if it's possible to avoid it? I would, you know, I don't, I wouldn't want to have to go to his house and say, oh, sorry that your son is fucking deformed now, you know, he can't move from the neck down and, you know, sorry about that. Here, here's, here's some money and a condolence. Here's some, here's some flowers. Ooh, so wonderful. Yeah, you know, you could avoid doing that. It'd be much better to have him in a, you know, military parade here. Let him strut his stuff. It'd be fun. 
Uh, and, you know, he has to worry less about getting shot at by some crazed zealot, exactly the kind that, you know, uh, the same lamestream media claims we need more of uh, in the Western world. It's just so dumb. That's about all. Peace out.